Hi everyone, today we have a quick little workflow trick that allows you to edit and tweak your Rococo motion capture from within Cinema 4D. This allows you to fix clipping or make sure your character is hitting their marks exactly. This workflow requires you to be on R23 or higher to take advantage of the new character definition tag. Let's jump into it. So for this video, we're going to use a character we got from Mixamo. This Warrock character will be perfect to demonstrate on because its proportions, while still humanoid, are bulky enough that we'll probably get clipping from our mocap. In other words, the arms may intersect and go inside the body, which won't look good. I'll just download the character in a T pose and then import that file into Cinema 4D. To keep everything organized, I'll select the skeleton and mesh and hit Alt G to put them in a null, which I can rename Mixamo character. So we've got our character in Cinema, but now we actually need our Rococo mocap. If we hop into Rococo Studio, we can use one of the sample animations that is included for free with Rococo Studio. I'm going to use this Kata animation and export it by just right clicking on the take and then selecting FBX making sure that body skeleton is checked. And I always use a Maya human IK skeleton. I just find it to be the best skeleton to export out of Rococo Studio, even when I'm working with Mixamo characters. After exporting, if we open up our cinema project again, we can hit file merge and import our motion capture and throw it in its own null. So before we do any editing, we still need to actually retarget our mocap onto our Mixamo character's skeleton. This is actually super easy now in Cinema 4D R23 or higher because of the character definition tag. First, I'll right click on my mocap skeleton and I'll go to Rigging, Character Definition. Then I'll select the tag and hit Open Manager and then I will hit Extract Skeleton. What the tag is doing is going through your character's skeleton and automatically generating a bone map. If this doesn't work for your character automatically, you can always go in and manually define the skeleton. If we delete the bone for the left clavicle, for example, we can always just go in and manually add that bone back in for the left clavicle. After we're done extracting the skeleton, we'll add a character definition tag to our Mixamo character and extract their skeleton. And then to retarget our mocap, now all we need to do is go to the tag on our character and hit Create Solver. We can then drag in our character definition tag from our mocap, and there we go. Our mocap is now retargeted to our Mixamo character. However, our character is only referencing our mocap at this point. Our character's skeleton doesn't have any actual keyframes. So if we were to export this, for example, to say Unreal or something like that, our character wouldn't be animated anymore because it wouldn't be using this system to reference our mocap. To fix all of this, I will select my character's entire skeleton tree by right-clicking and hitting Select Children. And then I'll open up the Timeline or Dope Sheet and select Functions, Bake Objects. I'll uncheck Create Copy and I'll hit OK. Now our character skeleton is actually keyframed with our mocap and we can delete our original mocap if we want. So this is great, we have our mocap on our character, but if we cruise through the timeline, we can see that because our character has such bulky proportions, at a certain point, his right arm is intersecting with his body. Fixing this is where editing or tweaking our mocap comes into play. First, I will add a motion clip to our character's skeleton by selecting the skeleton and going to Animate Add Motion Clip. I'll make sure remove animation is unchecked and then I'll hit okay. 
Now if we select our motion clip and hit open in TL, you can see that we have our whole animation here in this one clip. This system is great in general and we can move our animation around or change its speed in here, but in order to edit the mocap, we actually need to go back and select our motion clip again and hit add. That will add a new layer into the timeline and we will drag that above the original layer. Next, I will go to where I want my edit or my tweak to start. And I'll select the bone that I want to affect, in this case, the right arm. And I will key the rotation of that bone by holding down control and keying these fields. Then I'll go to the end of where I want my edit to be, which is right after the intersection, and I will key it again. Finally, I will go to where the clipping actually is, and I will rotate that right arm bone so the arm is no longer intersecting with the body. I will key this one last time. And now if I play it back, you can see that this edit is affecting the bone, but is also allowing the rest of the mocap to play out as it did before. If we want to make this change permanent and keyframe this into our skeleton, we can again select our entire skeleton, open up the dope sheet, and go to Functions, Bake Objects again. Now we have a character we retargeted our mocap to, we edited that mocap to fix some clipping, and we can even export this character and animation out of Cinema 4D because we baked those changes to our character's skeleton. So we hope this tutorial was helpful. It was just a quick one again. And as always, this is only one way that you could go about editing motion capture. If you have another method that you like, we'd love to hear about it. And also put any questions that you have down in the comments below. Thanks so much, everyone. Bye-bye.